Week 14, two parts. One is a, a self-correcting mad minute, and the other will be a self-correcting spelling. Let me give you a peek here before we look at that. You'll come with two here in your Google site. And let me walk you through, first of all, here, we'll start with a worksheet. And I'd like about six tabs on the bottom for spelling. Uh, looking like this. I have three here, but create six. Just so you know how to do that. Uh, some have trouble renaming them. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. And then you're going to create uh, enough self-correcting problems. Uh, and this time, instead of uh, what we did before, you'll make some kind of a meme in there. And I found these, I brought these in from my phone. You can do whatever, but generally have up to 60 problems on each page so that students have enough for this minute. And you'll find other ways to use this in your teaching. And it could be a combination. It doesn't all have to be multiplication or however. And of course, it depends what level you're teaching. But the big thing is you get immediate feedback if you want that. You can also have it for a, a real assessment. Uh, and then you, you can hide this correcting column. And that's what I want you to do is hide this. But then when you lock the sheet, and I'll show you how to do that, you got to give me permission so I can unlock it and see it. But I want you to learn how to lock it and make it more functional. Then you duplicate the sheet and do redo the problems into other ones like we've done before. And then uh, record the date and the number correct on the tab. And it looks like uh, here, you got 40, it's week one, you got 45, right? It's just such easy access then to uh, what you're going to do. Okay. And then uh, when you're done, you're going to insert this in your Google site. Make sure you share it with me. And uh, some of you still haven't figured out exactly how to do that. And you use my Gmail. Oh, my gosh. Don't send them to my a campus one because it doesn't work. I, it, it, uh, it's much harder uh, to uh, for me to get on them then. And I, you all have this someplace because every time I share something with you, it's there. So I was very surprised when you start sharing, sending them to my uh, campus email. Okay, and so and then the second one will be similar. Uh, again, instead of this, this time, I'll ask you to put these in or some kind of a meme. Please don't use mine. Use something else. And we'll start the same way. Now we're going to put one test on each worksheet, each tab in the bottom like this. And you'll number them too. And you can do whatever. And again, you'll find better ways than I have. And uh, again, hide this correcting column or word column and lock the sheet except... Uh, you know, where, where you have to, and give me permission to unlock it. I'll show you that. And then duplicate the sheet, make new words. Okay. And add uh, the next spelling. Again, you can do this with anything. Uh, it doesn't have to be something like this. And then a date, number correct on the tab. Uh, and again, that, that might be fictitious. And then put in your Google site and again, share with me. So let me take you there. And these are going to go away because I don't want you stealing these. But first on the math. You, uh, you make up different ones and don't have them the same each week. It depends how much, like, when you start teaching these, a lot of times you'll go, we're going to lose the, learn the one through threes, then one through fives, then one through seven, then one through nine, then one through 12. So each week you may depend uh, which ones you have here. But this is the same formula as before. This is the same formula as we had before. Okay. Only now, uh, instead of what we did before, you slip in these instead of grade or try again or something like that. And again, you can uh, certainly uh, make these bigger. I have them small here. It depends what size. But uh, as you see, my font, like these are 14s uh, or 18s. Yeah, you, you got all kinds of space and center them all like this. Okay. 
and then let me come up here and show you if I want these bigger, you can have just these bigger. If I want to make those like that, then they're bigger. Okay, so however you want to do that, but that make it usable, makes it functional, make it better to use for kids. You don't need those tiny little ones, but you can, uh, yeah. But this is why when I say make it usable, make it look nice like this. And then you come to the next one and you, uh, let me show you locking now. This is very interesting. Say, for example, you don't want this. So, okay, so we don't want here to here, okay? Uh, you don't want them to see that. Or here's a better one. I'm going to uh, hide this because I want to use it as an assessment. I just want this count. Oh, I see what it's doing. So I can hide this column. I'm going to hide. That's how you hide it. And that might be sufficient. The reason you'd lock it is if you have some savvy tech kids that can pick it and unlock it. But you want to give them permission to bring it back then. And here's how you unhide. I'm going to uh, highlight both of those. And then just simply tell it to unhide the column. And here it comes back. So that, again, you use that how you see fit. But if you need to lock it, here's what you do. Tools. Protect the sheet. And then you could give this a name. And I'm just going to say it's uh, week one. And then accept certain cells and then it wants to know which ones and i would say oh i want these not to be and then you would highlight them whichever ones you don't want okay g6 uh, let's see Uh, oh, I see. Uh, like this. Um, this is E. Let's go E2 to E60. Okay. Tell it okay. Now I set a permission. And I say, restrict, only you can do it. Or you could have a show warning. And I don't know, that might be sufficient. But here, you could do like this. Uh, cut, you can bring it from another page. And you might do that. But maybe you want, uh, this is where you'd put me in here. My Gmail, that I could do it. Because I want to look at these. So don't lock me out of them. Okay. And now, how do you make this go away? Say you want to take all the permissions off. Watch this now. What you would do is uh, just trash the whole thing. And then you can start again if you want. All right. So that's how you're going to make a mad minute with multiple ready. And uh, I want you to hide and lock and so and give me permission so I can unhide and I, I can unlock and unhide and see what you've got. And I want to see these little fellas here. And you can either... Uh, uh, take the quiz just so you have answers here like this I can see. But that's what we're doing this time. Now, uh, I was spelling, it'd be similar, okay? Only this is, gets really more fun like this. is On the spelling, you're going to go out and find, and did I put that in here? Yeah, you're going to find a fourth grade. And let's do this. Let's say third, fourth, fifth grade, something like that from online spelling lists. There's tons of them, of these spelling lists to bring in. And some will allow you to even copy and paste them instead of transcribing them. Okay. It's still loading here. It's a little confused. But that's what you're going to do here. Create a self-correcting spelling test. And again, use a meme other than what we did before, other than these. You can, it, it just works better because what you want to do is be able to pull them down uh, like we did before 
where you get something started and you can just uh, 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 bring them straight down here. Okay. And then it will have those in them. Okay. So here's what I did. You go out and find the spelling list and then just, I say, I think you can paste them in. A lot of times I'll let you copy them and paste them. If not, you might have to transcribe them, but I don't think so. Uh, let me just take a quick look with you. It's fourth grade. Okay, like here. You should be able to just grab these, see? Copy just paste in here and the thing of course when you're teaching you'll match them up with your um, uh, with your uh, 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 curriculum and what you're using so uh, you won't have to worry about that okay now you've got them in here and we're gonna do the same thing where here's where we'll uh, well uh, you'll give them the words and this is where you could call them out or have others call them out. The only thing, of course, they have to be in the right order. And then you've put this in here, but here, this is this form. And now it has to be equal. So a one has to be equal to E one. And of course you're going to hide this. And again, you can use it for your actual spelling test or you can have it for practice. And then you can unhide or let have give them permission. And that's what you may do after you lock it. Let's just say, for example, uh, we're gonna do this where we're gonna have them right on here. We're gonna hide this. And then you're gonna lock it like this. Again, tools um, and tell it to protect the sheet. Okay. And um, you can tell it whatever it is here. Except certain cells. And you're going to say, how about, um, you know, A1 to A20. Okay. It can be more than one. You can, you can lock several things. Uh, but the rest, I mean, you can have several things unlocked. And again, we'll set the permission. You could say here that you're going to custom, you're going to give me permission here. But this is where you can come back and give students permission because it's a Google Doc or a Google Sheet. You can just go in and give them permission. Then they can unlock it. Or you could unlock it for them too because you'll have access to all these as their teacher. And then they can pull it open and look at uh, whatever. And if, let's say, if you want to undo this, you simply throw it away. Or if you need to redo it, it doesn't turn out. But um, I have to be able to get in there and, and unlock and stuff. And so that'll stretch you a little bit. Uh, and then how do we, uh, how do we um, find them back? We just tell them to unhide the columns. Okay. And you can unhide this one here if you want to. And it won't be long. They'll know. They'll see uh, columns missing. They'll know they're hidden in there. But again, it's, a, it's something they can do individually. You maybe have them uh, do individual work with this or as a class, you call out the words or something. And there's formulas that you can build in also uh, to, to count the how many are correct and stuff like that. So, okay, that's what you got. And down here again, you add tabs like this. New tab comes in, you rename it. Here's the other thing you may want to do here. Like here even, you may want to do this and that is, uh, uh, you know, you can protect the sheet here like this. Okay. And the other thing up here with this, uh, um, you may want to take this off. You may want to take this off for spelling. Okay. Yeah. 
All right. There you go. Week 14.